So there's an amazing platform called Patreon that lets you create an online membership business. But up until now, there wasn't an easy way to do live streams and events for just your patrons. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do live video hangouts, online concerts and live shows for just your patrons. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Sai here, CEO of Crowdcast. And on this channel, we show you how to grow your audience using live video and give you tips and strategies to ultimately make a living online. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now today, we're gonna talk about Patreon. Now, some of you might be wondering, what is Patreon? Well, there's a global movement happening where we're moving from a transactional economy to a subscription economy, which some call a relational economy. For example, we're moving from paying for something like a razor once to paying for a service that supplies us razors every month. Instead of it being a one-time transaction, it's now an ongoing relationship. Now, as you know, it's gone way beyond razors to music, movies, TV shows, and every kind of software possible, and even your style. And with this wave, artists, musicians, and creators of all kinds are building their own membership businesses, with Patreon leading the way as one of the most popular ways of doing that. That's why we at Crowdcast partner with our friends at Patreon to allow you to do things like live video hangouts, virtual concerts, live podcast shows, and Q&As, all for your biggest fans, the ones that support you. Now, we've designed the integration to focus on one thing, how to grow your patronage with live video events. So far, people like Kina Granis has held live online concerts, Amanda Palmer has held live video hangouts with her fans, and Nate Maingard has held both concerts and live hangouts for just his fans, and much, much more. All right, let's show you how to set it up. Now, over here, I'm at my creator account called Crowdcat. I'm gonna go click on Posts, and new. And we're gonna click on live stream. And here you can pick between YouTube and Crowdcast. So let's go ahead and say use Crowdcast. All right, so on this form, there's basically two steps. First, we're gonna go ahead and create our Crowdcast. And then we're just gonna paste that link right here. So let's go ahead and create that now. Now at this point, it's gonna check that you have a Crowdcast account. And if you don't, you can hop onto a two week free trial to try out everything. All right, so for this event, let's give it a title. Testing with my fans. And let's go ahead and schedule this for Wednesday at 11 a.m. I'm gonna hit done. Now down here where it says access, you can control who can access your event. By default, anyone can register, but in this case, let's go ahead and click on Patreon and scroll down. I'm gonna actually connect our Patreon account right here. So let's say connect my Patreon account. We're gonna say allow over here. This is a one-time thing. If you've never connected your Crowdcast and Patreon account, you can do it here. And bam, it says it's connected, awesome. I can go ahead and close this tab to go back to the new event form. And now you can see it's already updated and I can select what tiers I want this Crowdcast to be limited to. So let's say $5 or more, and I'm gonna hit save. Awesome, so at this point our Crowdcast has been created and we can start sharing it all over the web. And you can see it's already locked into the patrons because it says patron only right at the top. So now let's go share this link back to our patrons. We're gonna copy the URL and paste it right here. Great. And let's give this post a title, join me Wednesday. Now up at the top where it says schedule, we actually recommend you change it to publish now. Since you've already scheduled your Crowdcast for Wednesday, you can actually share the post now so that people can start registering and get email reminders before you go live. Now down here where it says who can see this post, we actually recommend you select public. Since you've already told Crowdcast what level of patronage you want to lock that event to, you can actually have anyone see the post on Patreon and when they click on it, it's going to ask them to log in with Patreon and then we're going to verify if they're a patron of yours. And if not, we actually direct them to go become a patron. So let's go ahead and click on publish now. It says our post is published and we can click here to open up the Crowdcast again. And we can just go back here to see what the patrons see. And on Patreon, they can just click that watch the live stream button and it'll take them to that Crowdcast. Okay, so what do your patrons see? Let me swipe over to my patron account. And over here you can see this is Sai looking at Crowdcat's account. And down here I'm gonna go click on the watch the live stream button. And now I'm on the registration page and it says this event's gonna go live in three days, awesome. I'm gonna click on save my spot. And here it's asking me to sign in with Patreon. So let's go ahead and click on that button. I'm gonna say yes, allow. And bam, because I'm a patron of Crowdcat, I was able to register in one click. Okay, so what if I wasn't a patron? What would that experience look like? Let's rewind a little bit to that registration page. Okay, so this time I'm not a patron and I'm gonna go click on save my spot. 
And as you can see, this says this is a patron-only Crowdcast from Crowdcat, and it must be in the $5 or up tier. So let's go ahead and unlock it. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the $5 tier. I'm gonna say confirm. Awesome, so I'm now a patron of Crowdcat. And now when I go back to the tab, you can see I've already been registered and I'm now in the event. All right, so let's go live. Now we're gonna pretend like it's Wednesday, but you can actually go live anytime. The scheduled time is there so that your attendees will get a 10 minute email reminder before the event goes live. So to do that, we're gonna go click on the prepare to go live button here. And I'm gonna choose the first option here. This is in browser. So enter green room with a webcam. Great, I'm gonna say yes, enable my camera or mic. Awesome, so now I'm in the green room and right here I can actually prepare and invite up other guests onto the screen uh, before we go live. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on the go live button. I'm gonna say yes, let's go live. Now there's a five second countdown. Awesome, now we are live and broadcasting to the folks in the room and it's recording. So if you wanted to, you could invite people up on screen at this point uh, by hovering over their comment over here and clicking on invite on screen, or you can go click on the people tab and selecting invite on screen from there. And that's it, you're now doing a live video hangout with just your patrons. Now, you can actually go live in Crowdcast in two different ways. What we just did was the in-browser method. This is great because it's real time and there's nothing to download. But because it's built for real-time conversation, the audio and video might fluctuate depending on your internet connection, your computer's performance, and your viewer's connection. But what if you wanted to host an online concert where the audio and video quality is more important than the latency? That's why we created a second way of going live called RTMP Studio that focuses on high quality audio and video, but not latency. RTMP Studio lets Crowdcast connect third-party software like OBS, Wirecast, Ecamm Live, it's a long list. And what that basically means is that you're gonna look great and sound great, but there's gonna be a delay, and that delay can range from 20 seconds to 40 seconds, depending on your viewer's connection. And it won't really be noticeable unless you're trying to get immediate feedback from your audience. Now, if you wanna know how to use RTMP Studio, we have a video for that. Just click on the link to the right or in the description. And if you need any help setting it up, always feel free to contact us in the live chat. All right, so last thing I wanna share with you today is a pro tip. You might have a friend or a colleague that you wanna you know, bring into your Crowdcast, but they're not your patron, right? So after you've created the event, you can actually go to the top right over here, click on options, and then click on register emails. And then just type in the email or emails of anyone that you want to import into your event. And what that will do is bypass that patron only step so they can register for your event and you can actually pull them up on screen and go live with them. And that's it, you now know how to create a patient only Crowdcast and you know how to go live in two different ways depending on if you're gonna do like a live video hangout or an online concert. Now if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact us at support at crowdcast.io. And if you found the tips in this video helpful today, don't forget to hit the like button and follow the channel. I'll see you in the next video.